Hey everyone, I hope uh, you guys can actually see me and uh, uh, please let me know if you guys can actually hear me up. I'm like opening the same thing, same YouTube live in my mobile also. Just give me one minute. Mm. So I hope you guys can actually hear me and uh, everything is working fine in terms of audio video. Uh, okay. Hey everyone. How are you all? Uh, my name is Sai Kiran and I'm very excited to meet you all guys uh, and uh, going to teach you Python. Uh, I And I hope this is the last time that I'm teaching Python on uh, let's upgrade.in. So I will uh, uh, be giving my thousand percent uh, in this entire uh, program uh, before even going and talking about the program. So let's get started with introductions. Okay, who you are from where you guys joining and uh, what exactly uh, what are your goals okay so let us understand all all of these one by one and then we will uh, take it ahead so the number one the first and foremost thing what is your name and from where you are joining please write it in the youtube chat as of right now okay so we will shift from youtube to lisa platform uh, in next five minutes but right now, just tell me in YouTube chat from where you are and what's your name. Okay, so I can see uh, uh, people messaging Sahil from Jharkhand and I have got uh, uh, Shaj, Saj, what is this? Asamdi, Asamdi from uh, Mumbai, Abhishek Himanchal, Sai from Hyderabad. Okay, hi Sai. Uh, Aman uh, Maurya from Uttar Pradesh. Then I have got... Uh, uh, M from Earth, okay. I am Anvesha from Odisha, Ravita Jammu, okay. But you can see the beauty is like I am having audience from everywhere. You name a state and I can see that uh, a state or city being represented here uh, somehow. I'll thanks a lot for joining in. Uh, today is first, so maybe like let's first of all uh, uh, wish everyone. Wish you all a very happy new year filled of lots of learning, lots of achievements, lots of uh, uh, what we say that growth. Okay, so that's what uh, uh, I wish you from the entire Let's Upgrade family. And uh, today is the day one of Python programming uh, uh, essentials that we are doing. This Python programming essentials will not be repeated post this. This is the like what is the la this is the last time that it has been live streamed on this particular channel uh, maybe you will see recordings being played again and again but this is the last time that you are seeing uh, me taking a live session of python on this particular youtube channel as well as let's upgrade as a platform okay and uh, uh, thanks a lot everyone for joining in although it is first uh, of january and uh, uh, today only the year started it's it may be a holiday for you it may not be a holiday for you but still you have joined here uh, for learning all the best so without any further ado uh, let's uh, let me introduce myself my name is Sai Kiran I'm the CEO and founder of let's upgrade dot in and uh, as well as a uh, few other things that we do few exciting things one of them is Lisa as a SaaS platform that's again a company uh, that's again a product from our company and we are also involved heavily in delivering high quality BTEC, uh, offline BTEC programs in Nai Mumbai Khargar along with ITM Skills University. So these are the three forties where Let's Upgrade is involved in and I along with my team try to make a huge impact there. That's all about me and I love programming, I love to teach and uh, uh, so that's the reason why I said, you know, even it is whatever, uh, I will be teaching on uh, Let's Upgrade.in and Python is my very close to heart subject and uh, uh, here I am with Python again. So the very first and foremost, what is this entire, uh, what we will learn, okay? So what we will learn in this all five days, let's go ahead and try to understand that one by one. So, uh, I'm sharing uh, this particular sh screen share. Let me know if you guys can see my screen, okay? Please let me know if you guys can see my screen. Uh, three, two, one, and I've transitioned, okay? So please let me know if you guys can see my screen, right? Yes or no? So tell me in the chat. 
okay i hope you guys can see my screen i am opening up the current youtube stream that you are watching okay you are currently watching this particular Same. youtube stream okay and i have opened it up in the description okay in the particular description section of your youtube you are seeing there is one link this is this is particular link for all your python uh, documentation i am opening up this link and one more thing i am doing is for registration attendance assignments leo coins and certificates for all of these there is one more link there is one more link i am opening that link also are you following uh, along with me so please tell me in the chat so these are the two links that we have opened this is one and this is second are you guys with me so far please tell me in the chat every one of you are you guys with me yes or no everyone okay uh, one is this particular link and this is the other link done i am teaching you how to actually register yourself as well as how to access the notes this is the particular link to access your notes okay so you are seeing all your notes are being put together in this particular uh, uh, notion uh, site that we have provided you and the second one is uh, where you can actually go ahead and uh, mark your attendance and all so this is january 1st okay this this link is there uh, for registration attendance assignment everything this is one link click on this link you will be opened here i hope you all are here yes or no so please tell me in the chat everyone is on one link yes or no so please tell me in the chat right now if you are here the very first part uh, as soon as you are here it will ask you if you have not yet signed up or log in it will ask you to sign up and log in that's one very simple step you have to do that as soon as you are done with this you will get an option to mark your attendance okay mark your attendance click mark your attendance how likely will you recommend today's session to your friends give any rating i would like to give myself 10 for sure uh, which premium program are you most interested in it is not that we are selling you it is just for our data collection purpose which program are you interested in in java dsa or a full stack web dev whichever uh, what can be improved further in this particular sessions maybe you can uh, uh, give this as a thing and submit your attendance this is a small step to submit your attendance and please get your attendance done asap am i am i am i clear to every one of you so we have just understood where to get notes notes are here okay that is python doc wala link second link is uh, this particular link we, uh, after which you will be redirected to our one link portal in this portal you can mark your attendance on january 1st 6:30 python introduction mark your attendance and i hope you guys are done with your attendance marking also so can you give me heads up if you are done with your attendance marking yes or no so please tell me in the chat everyone please tell me in the chat everyone if you guys are done with your attendance marking okay so uh, yes or no the link is not working it's not possible yeah Re please refresh okay maybe there is a heavy traffic right now uh, passing through this particular stuff that is the reason so and i can see that uh, from let's upgrades account someone has commented the exact link that you need to go i think our one uh, our sh url shortener is not working because of the heavy load maybe access that link which is there in the uh, chat to get to this particular portal now once you are here to access our brand new saas platform to access our brand new saas platform or a platform that is known as lxp learning experience platform uh, uh, like uh, like here you just click on watch on lisa in this day 1 and you will see my video like playing one, here one, and and you will okay so you are here now you can watch your entire video in this particular uh, place itself and you can see all the topics that i'm going to teach you here okay and uh, it is it is repeating itself all the topics that you can uh, that i'm going to teach you are listed here all the chat i'm here again i'm chatting with you all so from now on i will focus on the chat of this particular uh, section 
I will only answer the questions which are being asked in this particular chat. My focus in YouTube chat will be minimized and my focus on this particular chat will be increased. Am I clear? Every one of you? Am I clear? So please come here and uh, okay. Uh, If it is, I don't know, I'm not able to send this. Okay, I'm not able to send this particular thing. Hi. This is not working. Okay, so the chat here is not working. Maybe we will try out Lisa platform tomorrow. But you can find all the notes and everything here. Uh, in this particular uh, section itself. I don't know why this chat is not working. Again, I think there's a heavy load on this particular platform let me refresh it one more time and try chatting with you all if it works then we'll stick or else we will go okay so it is somewhat not working so maybe like let, let's go back again to youtube and we'll stick to youtube chat okay my focus again shifted to youtube chat i'm shutting down lisa right now for today tomorrow we will again go back and give it a try i just wanted to try it with heavy loads if it is uh, going to work yes or no because we intentionally created lisa for, that come is definitely uh, we intentionally created lisa for uh, a particular uh, audience that is when you are learning online how to go ahead and check it out so i am uh, uh, switching back to this now let's focus on study study i'm sorry for like taking lots of time uh, in that particular uh, thing so i'm getting into notes uh, the very first thing that we have is introduction to programming, uh, then introduction to Python. Okay, so let's get started. I want to use again another Notion uh, file. Okay, again a Notion file uh, for uh, starting your notes. I will share these notes post. Okay, Python notes from cycle okay the very first thing that we will be uh, uh, teaching today is intro to programming how many of you are new to programming how many of you are new to programming so please tell me in the chat uh, I'm I'm looking forward to your uh, YouTube YouTube thing so please tell me in the chat I don't uh, uh, how many of you are very new to the programming part in Python? How many of you are very new to the programming part in Python? How many of you are very new to the programming part in Python? So don't worry, just tell me in the chat. Okay? So I can see that significantly a, lot, a larger uh, set of people are uh, uh, somewhat saying that, hey, I am new to programming. Don't worry you are at the very right place we will go from not knowing anything in programming to actually building a game as a project on day five of python okay am i clear every one of you okay so at times you may feel that i am going little bit fast but don't worry okay i will try to adjust to your pace and if you're not understanding something it is okay you can again watch my video after the live has ended and watch it one more time you will understand the concept okay so uh, i hope you are uh, clear don't worry about registration and attendance and lisa as a platform i think the there is a heavy load which is transferring from youtube to our systems and our systems are failing one after other uh, first the url shortener was not working now i can see registration attendance is not working and lisa is not working so all of the platforms will be back uh, on track just give us like some time our tech team is working on it I'm so sorry for your this particular experience that you're having with our systems right now. Okay, so let me be just back uh, on this entire topic. So you may be very new to programming, but let's understand why do we, why are we even learning programming for a reason? Um, programming kyun seekh rahe hai? Why are we learning uh, programming together? The very first part, this era, the current era that you all 
are in we all are in okay little bit of digital literacy is required when i say digital literacy in 5 years back digital literacy was knowing power powerpoint presentations google docs or uh, sheets or excel sheet or something but now uh, the entire digital literacy has shifted from that to what thing so 5 years back the 5 uh, years back the digital digital literacy was all about okay ppt doc excel now the shift has happened okay shift has happened to okay ai tools right ai tools you might have heard about obviously chat gpt bard okay which all other ai tools that you have heard so please tell me in the chat in the chat please tell me which all other ai tools that you have heard uh, recently okay then again there is uh, mid j o u r n e y mid journey then there is again uh, uh, something on a stable diffusion okay then there is something uh, known as gemini okay gemini and which other tools aur kaun se tools tumne sikhe hain tom ai okay i don't know about tom ai but i'm writing it down because you have said uh, leonardo okay then playground runway runway ml okay so these all tools now what these tools are doing ye tool kar kya rahe hain what are these even tools doing together these tools are trying to trying to replace human being in terms of wherever there is a repetitive task wherever there is a repetitive task or wherever there is a creative block which used to take lots of time these tools are trying to cut down that entire process if you want to if you want to ride the wave of this particular ai ai thing you need to know very clearly to connect how how i can actually command main kaise in tools ko use kar sakta hu not only the usage side of it as a customer but also how can i use these all tools and create a solution and sell it understood use these all tools i will write down use these all tools and then sell it and then create okay create a solution and sell it okay maybe a kind of pipeline okay now what is a pipeline ek pipeline kya hota hai uh, what is a pipeline can you guys hear me properly i mean first and foremost thing uh, tell me that if you guys can actually hear me uh, my mic is all clear and it is showing uh, uh, ki all proper but i don't know इतना ज़्यादा तो यार आवाज़ आ रहा है तुम लोग कंप्लेन क्यों कर रहे हो आई आई कैन सी दैट कि मेरा पूरा आवाज़ एकदम क्लियर है आई डोंट नो आपके इसमें ही कुछ शायद प्रॉब्लम चल रहा है ठीक है सो ना मे बी अ काइंड ऑफ पाइपलाइन ना पाइपलाइन क्या होता है व्हाट इज़ अ पाइपलाइन लेट्स इमेजिन वॉट इज़ अ पाइपलाइन लेट्स टेक डेव पाइपलाइन ओके डेवलपमेंट पाइपलाइन अभी इसमें एक अच्छा वाला एक इमेज दिखाएगा ये ठीक है सो अभी नाउ द पाइपलाइन दैट यू आर सीइंग हियर इज अ डेव ऑप्स पाइपलाइन ऑल दो नॉट अ गुड एग्जांपल टू टेक एंड टीच शो यू बट हाँ यस फॉर अ रेफरेंस नाउ यू आर यू हैव एन आइडिया नाउ यूजिंग दैट आइडिया यू वॉन्ट टू फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट्स टेक अ स्मॉल एग्जाम्पल एन एग्जाम्पल लाइक क्या बनाए क्या बनाए चैट जी पी का यूज करके an a blog publishing website let's say blog publishing website abhi python ka use kahan pe hai main batata hu where python is being used i will tell you right now in a blog automated ai for blog publishing okay the tools that we will use is like chat gpt uh, the second one is like mid journey for generating an image and uh, uh, google trend to find out which topics are in trend and last one is like some software to publish it online okay so there are four steps first and foremost thing i need to know which topic that i need to write a blog on step number 1 step number 2 is writing a actual blog on that topic step number 
generating images for that particular blog step number four make it seo friendly step number five publish it clear done all five steps clear Agar if we have to use ai and build a pipeline uh, for blog publishing these are the five steps what are the five steps please tell me in the chat find out which topic that we need to write blog on writing the blog getting images making it seo friendly and then finally publishing it clear am i clear every one of you every one of you am i clear uh, five steps are you guys with me so please tell me in the chat if you guys are with me yaar mere ko pata nahi aapke messages aa rahe hain but you guys are not messaging anything regarding whatever i'm saying uh, are you guys with me what are the five steps please tell me in the chat fada fad uh, go at asap tell me think of the topic okay think about the topic second is your uh, write write the content get image uh, make it seo friendly then last is publish okay so these are five steps that we have got okay so each step here you can use uh, google trend okay here you can use uh, chat gpt here you can use uh, mid journey okay here you can use again uh, uh, chat uh, gpt slash uh, seo analyzer okay here you can use direct api to push it push it to website clear so are you guys with me are you guys with me every one of you okay every one of you uh, my there may be spelling mistakes but my entire focus is on uh, translating a concept into your mind so please ignore my spelling mistakes okay uh, fine so these five things if you want to do in a particular pipeline you can actually do it with the help of python programming language am i clear every one of you so you can basically build this entire project as your final project okay end of 5 days if you want us to create something like this we can actually create am i clear every one of you that powerful is python like stitching all of these tools all of these tools into one and making a tool that you can sell that is the power of python programming language now we have a very clear understanding why do we need python programming language in our life is it clear if it is clear please tell me in the chat it's clear uh, like send some kind of a uh, send some kind of an emoji or something okay send fire emoji uh, in the chat if you are clear right now should we build this project i mean should we build this project uh, and name it like let's upgrade uh, something 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 in the chat i am looking forward to you okay so i hope every one of you is with me uh, sir we sh- sir yes sir we should build it okay fine got it done now uh, uh, going back intro to programming uh, abhi chalo intro to programming i was talking to you till now about certain psychological psychological aspects uh, but right now let's talk about uh, what are the uh, psychological in terms of कि आप इसका यूज करके क्या क्या कर सकते हो वैल्यू क्या है बट इंट्रोडक्शन टू पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज पाइथन एज अ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन द ईयर नाइनटीन नाइन्टीज ओकेव सर्टन माई वन ऑफ द फेवरेट स्लाइड्स दैट आई हैव बिल्ट वे बैक लेट्स यूज इट टूडे अगेन ओके सो ओवर व्यू ऑफ पाइथन so gudo van rossum he is the person in 1991 has uh, created like has introduced us to python programming language Gu- who who is the person's name gudo van rossum okay so write it down in the chat g v uh, r g v r g v r okay g v r in 1991 created the most popular language in uh, uh, in the recent times that is python programming language okay in 2006 python became very popular 
So I like please uh, know this entire thing. Godot Van Rossum, 1991, 2006, it became popular. Godot Van Rossum, 1991, introduced Python, and 2006 Python became popular. Are we clear, everyone? In uh, write it down. GVR, 1991, 2006 Python became popular. I mean, even if I come at I come to your house and ask you at night 2 a.m., who created Python, which year, and which year it got popular, you should know it. Okay, so. Uh, what are the advantages of Python programming language? What are the advantages of Python programming language? Be with me till 8.30, you will write code, okay? You will, by today 8.30, aaj saare aart se pehle, you guys will start writing code, okay? So today, before it's 8.30, you will write certain lines of code. So just be with me. Now, advantages of Python. The very first part, developers can learn it quickly what developers can learn it quickly you all guys who are future developers you will learn it quickly you all guys who are future developers you will learn it very quickly that's the step number that's the, that's the point number one write it down in the chat uh, write it down in the chat fadafat just go ahead okay ye uh, fadafat se likho i mean follow along follow along with me okay write it down i am saying but you should type Okay, your hands are free, right? Type it. Second is, it involves less amount of code. Okay, typically involves less amount of code. Fine, clear? It involves very less amount of code. I hope every one of you are clear about this particular part. Now, uh, you can see here, Java may, if you have to write 18 lines of code for doing file uh, types, in Python, it is just four lines. Even in this one line is empty. Okay, it is three lines. That easy it is. Typically involves less amount of code. But what is the in the chat? I can't see your responses coming in. The second is syntax is easier. Okay, syntax is easier to read. Okay, so syntax is easier to read. Fine. Now syntax is easier, easier to read. Why it is saying so? Because this Python ka code likha. Here we have a Python code. X is equal to one. Now it's like, yaar, to math ka formula. It, it, it seems to be a math math thing, right? X is equal to one. Now here it is written, if X is greater than zero, then print these three lines are physical slash logical lines. Okay, whatever it is written, it will print. Okay, if X is greater than zero, but X is equal to one. One is greater than zero, yes, it will print. So see how easy it is. I mean, you yourself not even being a developer right now, if you are able to understand Python, that means it is easy, right? Don't you think so? Okay, syntax is easier to read. Now, the next question we have is utilized by every major technology company, okay? Utilized by every major technology company, okay? Every major technology company. Now, let's take this. Uh, Google is one of the adopters in 2006, which actually made it popular. Google 2006 mein use karna start kiya Python and Google started backing up Python in 2000 utilized by every major tech company good you I love you all here I mean the way how you're following along with me and uh, uh, writing it down in the chat right it, it, it is it, it is actually working out now huge amount of additional open source libraries what it is huge amount of additional open source libraries Okay, huge amount of additional open source libraries. Is ka matlab kya hai? We all know what is a library, right? We all know what is a library. I'll show you something. Library. Okay, so I hope ev this is a library. We all have been here. At least kabhi na kabhi ek bar to gaya library zindagi mein. Abhi kya ho gaya yaar? Man. Hey, I think we are back on track. Hey everyone, am I am I am I uh, clear right now? So please tell me in the chat. Okay. 
क्या अभी नॉर्मल है सब कुछ प्लीज़ टेल मी हेलो 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 एम आई क्लियर एम आई क्लियर इज इट क्लियर ओके 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 आई होप दिस इज क्लियर नाउ ओके आई एम सो सॉरी फॉर दैट आई एम नॉट टेकिंग सेशन फ्रॉम माई स्टूडियो और फ्रॉम माई ऑफिस दैट इज़ द रीज़न यू आर सींग सर्टन बैंड विथ इशूज आई होप यू गैज आर क्लियर विथ वो नहीं भाई आज uh, आज सब गलत जा रहा है यार आज सब कुछ ही गलत जा रहा है सिस्टम को क्या हुआ ठीक है नो वर इज़ फाइन विल सॉर्ट इट आउट टुमारो ओके सो आई एम बैक एवरी वन सो प्लीज़ टेल मी इन द चैट आई होप आई एम बैक राइट ना आज सब कुछ ही गलत जा रहा है आई मीन वॉट एवर कैन गो रॉन्ग इज गोइंग रॉन्ग विद हज आई मीन माई वाई फाई लीसा लाइक रजिस्ट्रेशन वन लिंक एवरी थिंग आई एम सो सॉरी फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ एन एक्सपीरियंस दैट यू आर हैविंग एज अ कस्टमर बट वी डू लॉट्स ऑफ फ्री कोर्सेज We never face uh, such issues, but I don't know आज क्या हो रहा है ऐसा भी आज पूरा ही फट गया सिस्टम ओके सो आई होप वी आर बैक ओके ट्रांजिशनिंग इन टू दिस सो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट लाइब्रेरी ओके ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ लाइब्रेरीज अगेन प्लीज गो अड एंड राइट डाउन इन द चैट ओके फाइन राइट डाउन इन द चैट अबाउट दिस एंटायर थिंग कि ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ लाइब्रेरीज क्या है ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ लाइब्रेरीज so we all have been here in these kind of libraries right apan ya zindagi mein har bar dekha hai like we have seen uh, and been into these libraries what these libraries give us in our life what these libraries actually give us in our life so uh, these libraries pass on the knowledge of someone who has written a book some time back uska knowledge we can have in our mind okay we can translate that entire knowledge from that time into our brain using this particular library okay so that exactly what a job of python library is ek library kya karta hai library contain lot of books and in this books there is knowledge this knowledge is by someone who has written it some time back and we are tran- transferring that knowledge from that book to ourselves that is a what a library ka entire purpose is the same way python as a programming language python as a programming language has got huge amount of libraries open source libraries now what is a uh, i'll show you something pi pi pypi.org okay pypi.org now pypi.org is a particular uh, website where you will find around 5000 5 lakh 500000 uh, uh, projects or library books okay are available now these are all packages which we can utilize these are all packages which we can utilize in our particular project are we clear done the website is pypi.org what it is pypi.org it should be it should be like literally in your brain 24 by 7 if you are a python developer write down in the chat pi p sorry p y p i dot o r g write down in the chat fada fada go ahead okay p y p i dot o r g okay pi pi dot o r g now this is all about five advantages of python python got introduction of python is gvr 1991 okay i introduced us to python 2006 python became popular because google started using it okay advantages of python developers can learn it quickly developers uh, so it involves typically less amount of code syntax is easier to read utilized by every major technology company and has got huge amount of open source libraries i hope every one of you are with me so far okay now let's get to uh, let's start writing code okay i hope i am following the same thing uh introduction to python is also done now setting up python okay now what is uh there in setting up python there are three ways to use python okay there are three ways 
to write python code okay so what are these three methods fine let's let's uh, what is a code environment okay a code environment okay a code environment is a place where you can write your code see the output what is the output that machine is giving us clear every one of you what is a code environment okay what is a code environment so please tell me in the chat every one of you what is a code environment i hope everyone is with me a code environment is a place where you can write the code see or run it and see the output write write the code run the code and see the output okay uh, write down code environment in the chat okay in the youtube chat write down code environment if you are clear about code environment write down this thing in the chat okay i will also be clear that ha huh, you have understood the topic that is code environment every one of you please go ahead write it in the chat right now okay now uh, write the code Uh, run the run the code. Oh, sorry, yeah. Run the code and see the output and repeat it. That's like uh, write, run, see, okay, uh, and repeat. Uh, the rhyming match nahi ho raha, but okay. Now there are three main types of environments, code environments. One is notebook environment. Second is text and uh, text editor environment. Third is full IDE. Okay. Now you want me to teach this? Is it is it getting boring, or you want me to teach this? I would like to take your opinion. Then accordingly, I will proceed ahead. If you say that, ki sir, we will learn this thing later. I mean, aapi sikhana, baad mein sikhana. Let's get started with writing code. We will do that. Or if you say that, finish it. We'll start the code at seven thirty. I am okay with that also. Okay. Uh, I I want. Uh, the feedback i want the feedback coming in fast okay uh, okay so i can see that uh, please teach 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 so let's finish it in like 5 minutes okay the number one uh, these three code environments notebook environment text editor full id are developed for various purposes okay if you are a uh, let's say your job is you are a student okay you are a student you don't know yaar i am writing a code but it is not uh, 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 it is becoming cumbersome process to write a code run it and see the output three things then that's where and also take down notes kya acha ye code likhne pe ye output aata hai okay take down notes also for example you are a student or you are a uh, you are a person who is trying to learn python programming language or you are a person who is trying out certain data science ka naya algorithm or a machine learning algorithm or ai model or something where you have four things involved take down notes learn the topic also see the output also how much time it is taking you want to store everything together that's where this notebook environment comes into play okay it is great for learning see input and output next to each other you write the input also it will give you it will show you the output also next to each other you can take notes visualization videos everything in that one file and special file format it is not dot py file format so let's see this in action so there is something known as google collab okay so there is something known as google collab i'm right, i'm i'm actually uh, pasting the link of this in our, in your chat Okay, I have pasted the link of this thing in your chat. Now Google Collab. Okay, Google Collaboratory. Now what is a Google Collaboratory? Okay, so Google Google Collab is nothing just but it is a notebook environment where you can where you can actually write code, where you can actually write code and uh, uh, see the output साथ साथ में. Are we clear? आर वी क्लियर मैं यहाँ पे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रिनेम कर देता हूँ पाइथन क्लास नोट्स ओके फाइन डन यू कैन सी द फाइल एक्सटेंशन इज वॉट वॉट इज द फाइल एक्सटेंशन ऑफ दिस आई पी वाई एन बी कैन यू राइट डाउन दिस थिंग इन द चैट एवरी वन ऑफ यू कैन यू राइट डाउन इन द चैट एवरी वन ऑफ यू ओके सो प्लीज टेल मी इन द फटाफट से वॉट इज द एक्सटेंशन ऑफ अ गूगल सॉरी ऑफ अ नोटबुक एनवायरमेंट notebook environment the extension is ipynb everyone of you whosoever is listening to me 
type it in the chat. If I can see that 400 plus people are seeing me, I need 400 plus responses of IP, Y and B. Okay. You will know it forever. Okay. Just do it what I'm saying. Type it. I, P, Y, N, B is the uh, thing. Now, uh, you can see, you can write the code here. That is print. Okay. Print hello world. Love you all. Something I'm just writing. Okay. And this is my entire code. I want to run this. I can run this here. And this is my code. Okay. I'm running this and you will see the output here itself. You will see the output here itself. Okay, it is connecting to a machine. As soon as the machine is uh, connected, okay, you will see that machi machine is getting connected. And once this is connected, okay, here is the output. Okay, am I sorted? Am I, am I clear, every one of you? This is the best, best of the best uh, environment to learn how to write a code. Okay, we will use notebook environment all our five days to see how this works. Maybe four days, one day we will use uh, uh, Visual Studio that is text editor. Now the next code environment is text edit. Are we clear? Are we clear about uh, notebook environment? Please tell me. Okay, are we clear about uh, uh, notebook environment? Every one of you. So please write it in the chat. Every one of you. Are we are we clear about it? Okay, yes or no? Uh, why am I getting not getting lots of uh, responses here? A notebook environment is sorted. The next environment that we have is a text editor. Now, what is a text editor? You all have been using text editor for your life. Okay, you all have been using text editor for your entire life. The number one thing is Notepad. You all remember Notepad, right? Uh, Notepad, uh, Windows. Uh, windows okay so if you can see the image uh, this this is a notepad okay this is a notepad every one of you have seen this right in your in, your, in our lifetime we have seen this thing at least once yes or a no notepad yes or a no so please write down in the chat if you have any time seen a notepad in your life that is a text editor okay notepad is an example of a text editor now what a text editor does Text editor is not customly built for any file format. Okay, कोई वो एक individual file format के लिए नहीं बना है. You can learn, you sorry, you can you can basically type any file format in a Notepad. Okay, you can do a Python program also. You can write a C plus plus program. You can write a Java program. You can write a normal dot txt. You can also write a binary file. You can do whatever you want in this particular Notepad. Okay. I, am I am I clear? Every one of you with me. आप एक notepad के अंदर जो करना है वो कर सकते हो. You can save that notepad file also. Whatever you want to save it, you can save it. So taking this entire example of text editor, then uh, there is another uh, coding environment that has been created. That coding environment name is text editor. General editors for any text file works with a variety of file types. can be customized with the help of plugins and add-ons on day 4 we will go use a text editor and uh, see how we can install certain plugins and make it for our purpose for example you are a python developer you can um, customize this text editor for python if you are a java developer you can customize it for java if you are a c++ developer you can customize it for c++ if you are a uh, website developer you can customize customize this thing for website if you are a solidity solidity is what uh, ethereum or a blockchain web3 developer you can uh, customize it for web3 also am i clear every one of you are you guys with me so visual studio code vs vs code okay i will show you this thing online i will not open it right now because we are running out of time and uh, we need to finish At least list तक का चीज खत्म करना है सो सी आई शो आई एम शोइंग दिस थिंग एज अ विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड लुक्स लाइक दिस ओके सो यू कैन इंस्टॉल एज मेनी प्लग इन्स यू वॉन्ट सो हियर इट इज बीन पाइथन थिंग इज इंस्टॉल्ड इट हैज ऑल्सो इंस्टॉल्ड लाइव सर्वर प्रिटियर जुपिटर नोटबुक सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स दे हैव इंस्टॉल्ड एंड दे हैव मेड इट विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड फॉर देयर 
uh, their purposes okay that flavor is there for them now the last the last code environment that we will see today full ide now what is the ide i need the i need the full form of ide in the chat ide ka matlab kya fatafat jaldi batao uh can you guys actually tell me about ide and there's someone asking me about abhishek abhishek is texting me about hey i have questions about aws class uh uh abhishek that aws class which was supposed to be taken by some other trainer or something uh they have for some some reasons they have uh, cancelled that entire class and that aws thing has been postponed we are recording that entire aws session offline in our studio first we will edit it properly and then we will make it live because last few days i have i have seen like from last uh, 10 days or something uh, let's upgrade essentials program are taking shots in terms of the experience are not uh, going as we want to deliver that is the reason what we are doing is we have changed the entire model we are we are bringing all these experts into our studio offline and we are shooting their entire series once the shoot is done we will edit it and then we will live stream it along with our moderators that is the approach that we are going to take to still retain this liveness this community community approach and still deliver a high quality uh, stuff so uh, we are uh, pivoting from all online 5 days all live 5 days to all staged live days so that is thing that thing is happening that's a learning out of that aws uh, essentials that our team has got and they are working on uh, this entire thing so the leader of let's upgrade in uh, our entire team is prasad savant and uh, he is the person along with nidhi are working on this entire part so once that system is live you will be able to see lots of industry leaders and uh, sessions are being delivered uh, through that staged live approach i hope i have answered your question so fine now getting back to ide ide means if you have done the google ide means integrated development environment now what is a integrated development environment what is a integrated development environment the answer is very simple development environments designed specifically for a particular language either python either java or either c++ for any one thing this particular ide has been developed large like large teams or uh, 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 companies like let's say microsoft or let's say uh, uh, you can you can name any company if the project is of a particular language they will use an ide they don't want to use a text editor they don't want to use a notebook for sure they all want to use only one thing that is known as ide okay so uh, large programs and only community editions are free it is paid software by the way uh, these ides are paid uh, our students in btech uh, wherever we deliver uh, degree programs they get it for free of cost uh, because we have certain tie ups there uh, but yeah so these are paid uh, ides and you can actually go and search for community editions which are free and designed specifically for a particular language lots of extra functionalities let it be debugging let it be on a on a chip level if you want to get into it and understand you can you can basically uh, understand this entire part that's the part of ide if i have to just google it out and search ides ide uh, for let's say c++ okay so you will find i'll just go to images to show you something so i am not able to see an ide here jet brains okay let me just open a website jet brains now jet brains is a, 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 a entire suite of uh, ide for various uh, teams okay let it be for javascript golang kotlin any language you mention they have a uh, they have this particular thing built up let's say i want to do for c++ so these are all the ides that you can use got it done sorted every one of you clear what's the one of the successful id uh, platform there out there that is jet brain what is it jet brains clear sorted every one of you fine eclipse is also there one more bahut pehle hum use karte the for android development now now we have something else there but yeah 
uh, fine the next thing that we have here writing your first thing is also done fine variable variable and data type so i would like to explain this variables and data types in a very very lively manner okay so i hope uh, you all are here so far let's get started with coding uh, that's okay so are you guys with me so far kya aap sab mere saath ho abhi tak IDE bhi khatam ho gaya aapko aap you all have understood IDE and like sorry code code environments you all have understood code environments right well, how many types of code environments are there let's quickly revise how many types of code environments are there uh, tell me in the chat okay so how many types of code environments are there fada fad just go ahead tell me in the chat uh, okay uh, three types what are the three types one is a uh, text editor second is a, a notebook environment third is a ide okay so now all these uh, 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 fine i can see answers coming in there uh, now what is an example of a notebook environment a text editor and a ide give me the names examples i need the examples so that i am very clear ki ha aapko ye samajh gaya hai abhi apan aage bad sakte hain you are very clear about the things that i have taught so far and we can progress ahead so for that purpose i want your answers coming in the chat fast ekdam fatafat okay uh, uh, google collab visual visual studio code and pycharm are the three examples done we are done with enough of theory <laughs> now let's get started with the actual code okay so before even we get started with the coding coding aspect okay so let's uh, try to understand these things now what are these okay what are these things that are on our screen okay 12 is a number is a whole number 34.6 is a decimal number i love let's upgrade okay that's a word or a sentence yes or a no that's a true or false statement clear these are four different types of uh, data are you guys with me yes or a no so please tell me in the chat every one of you Are you guys with me? These are four different kind, a different kind of data, which we are seeing on our screen right now. Yes. So if you are seeing these four different kind of data, there has to be different kind of containers to store this. Yes or no? I mean, are you guys with me? Okay. So are you able to understand what I just told you? Okay. So let me, for example, I have got a. a let me take this as an example this is a water bottle okay this water bottle can contain water slash liquid okay this is a one type of container i have got another type of container let's take uh, this this is a uh, gas uh, liquid converted to gas kind of a container okay so yahan pe cylinder for uh, storing gas okay now the other container is ki fine this is uh, here i have a uh, box okay this box can actually uh, contain a physical object or hard object a 3d object fine done so three types of containers in front of you everyone clear three types of container everyone clear okay yes or no so three containers right to store three different kinds of uh, things considering this as an example each one of the data type that you are seeing on your screen right now there are four data types okay there are four data types in this particular uh, screen four data types these four data types need to be stored in four different kind of uh, containers agree four different type of containers hi ana yes or no okay so don't give me the answer here i know many of you know what is an int what is a float what is a sentence what is a boolean I don't want you guys to like go race ahead of me. I want you guys to stick around me. Okay, so uh, if you are following the same flow, uh, four different types of data, four different types of container are also required in programming terms. These containers we can see through our eyes. The containers which are storing this are just in the computer. We can't uh, see them. So taking this base example, data types. are the basic building block of your any programming language 
data types are the basic building block of any uh, programming uh, any program that you are uh, building okay so basic building bricks of your building uh, when you are constructing huge program are we clear uh, are we clear every one of you data types now programming language in a larger set is dealing with data types understanding these data types and how can we play with these data types okay are we clear main aapko ek real time example deta hu okay which my professor gave me uh, 10 years back okay 10 years back i mean not exactly in his words twisted here and there considering uh, aaj ka youth salar aur kgf dekhta hai ओके कंसिडरिंग सलार के जी एफ एंड ऑल दीज मास फिल्म आउट देर लेट मी गिव एन एग्जाम्पल इन दैट सेम थिंग डेटा टाइप्स आर द काइंड ऑफ बुलेट्स ओके बुलेट अ बुलेट इन अ गन यू मे वॉन्ट टू फायर अ आर्टिलरी काइंड ऑफ अ बुलेट और यू वॉन्ट टू फायर अ स्मॉल जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव एम एम का बुलेट दैट्स डिपेंड अपॉन योर यूजेज आपको छोटा बुलेट मारना है आपको या बड़ा पूरा तोप ही दाग देना है okay that's upon you those are the kind of data types but the guns with which you fire okay the guns let it be a, a ak47 uh, to a m4 uh, to a artillery gun itself or a tank ke andar machine gun what a gatling gun whatever gun you are using those guns are data manipulation engines what are those data manipulation engines so if else for loop while loop functions these are all kind of guns but what are you playing with you are playing with bullets what are these bullets these bullets are data types are you guys with me clear done every one of you are with me yes or no sorted so two things are there in programming language do cheeze hain programming language mein ek hai data jo bullets hain dusra hai jo hai actual guns okay with which you fire those are data manipulations data manipulator okay no i mean you guys have not got this entire reference in entire programming language there are only two things number one is the actual data which you store which you retrieve which you play with but second the tools to play with that data the tools to play with the stored data that is the other part data manipulators clear sorted so पहले अपन सीखेंगे डेटा टाइप्स बाद में अपन फर्स्ट वी विल लर्न डेटा टाइप्स एंड हाउ दिस डेटा कैन बी स्टोर्ड देन वी विल लर्न दैट इज हाउ टू यूज दिस पर्टिकुलर डेटा एंड प्ले विथ इट आर वी क्लियर नाउ आर वी क्लियर प्योर इंग्लिश आई स्पीक हैव स्पोकन एंड आई एम लाइक आई होप यू गैज आर विथ मी ओके सो यार क्या मतलब इतना गंदा एग्जाम्पल था क्या आई मीन लाइक दिस बैड द एग्जाम्पल वॉज के लाइक यू गैज आर लाइक नॉट इवन मेकिंग एनी नॉइस और एनी थिंग एनी थिंग एनी थिंग इन द चैट आई वॉज लाइक फीलिंग दिस वन ऑफ द माई बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल्स एवर आई गिव इन माई क्लास क्योंकि ऐसे एग्जाम्पल तो मैंने मेरे बेटे के बच्चों को भी नहीं दिखाया ठीक है सो फाइन कंसिडरिंग कमिंग बैक टू द एंटायर स्टोरी विल फर्स्ट प्ले विथ डेटा टाइप्स वेयर इज इट आई पाइथन नोटबुक ओके आई एम गेटिंग बैक टू द नोटबुक बाई द एग्जाम्पल सही था इफ द एग्जाम्पल वॉज गुड देन आई यूज इट इन माई नेक्स्ट क्लास और एल्स आई एल नॉट इवन यूज इट एनी वेयर ओके फाइन सो वॉट आई सेट वी विल वी विल लर्न टू थिंग्स फर्स्ट डेटा स्टोरी हाउ टू यूज दैट डेटा एंड मेक uh what do you say make programs nahi bol sakte usko make okay and write logics and get output or else in my very simple language you can write again second as this how to augment that data augment ka matlab to samajhte ho na yaar augmenting okay so these hash ओके ओके सो दिस हैश दिस हैश दिस हैश यू आर यूजिंग टू कमेंट समथिंग 
now what is commenting in what is commenting in programming can you tell me just go google it out and tell me the answer right now just go google it out okay i have put this hash to write a comment now why do we write comments maybe you guys uh, tell me that and uh, what happens as soon as i put a comment uh, in front of it okay comment ka hash in front of it okay what is the purpose of writing comments and when you have a comment what the compiler what this particular computer behaves with it two things additional information not included in code uh, execution somya is saying this yes right to better understand code uh, uh, to, uh, to better understand code good yashwant good uh, it okay now notorious is saying it will re, it will it, it won't be read by the computer as soon as you place this hash in front of anything it will not be it will be ignored it will be ignored by the computer okay it will be ignored by the computer but human eyes can read it clear and we can make sense of it ki ha yaar kya ho raha hai sort it now the very first part is declaring data types okay declaring data types declare okay there is a shortcut if you want to run this okay if you want to run this particular cell there is a shortcut the shortcut is shift enter okay shift enter if you put, press shift enter it will run automatic it will run you don't have to hit this uh, arrow button are we clear everyone is with me everyone is with me sorted okay uh good going so far good going good going the momentum is good now we will write down declaring data types the very first data type that we want to declare is uh let's declare a de- uh, no i mean uh dob or like leave dob maybe a number a a is equal to okay a is equal to 10 okay a is equal to 10 i am running this thing now when i want to print a what is the output the output is 10 now what just happened ye hua kya hai background mein declaring a data type in a variable variable okay in a variable now what's happening here declaring data type declaring a data type are yaar declaring a data type in a variable what's happening here what's happening here prathamesh patel is asking when the live session will end the live session will end at 8:30 pm okay we have 57 minutes to precise to end this session i hope i am uh, making sense the moderators of let's upgrade if i am actually overshooting please tell me in the chat ki nahi sir aaj ka session itne time ka hi tha main 2 ghante ka soch ke chal raha hu kya main zyada soch raha hu kam soch raha hu i don't know so a is equal to 10 print a is equal to 10 okay uh, what is happening here it's the output is coming are you guys with me are you guys with me yes or no mujhe farak nahi padta kisi ko boring lag raha nahi lag raha but i am here to teach you all so tell me very clearly if you are with me yes or no okay so fine okay a is equal to 10 print a is uh, print a mein 10 aa raha hai abhi apan ek kaam karte hain b is equal to 20 karte hain okay b is equal to 20 print b okay now what's the output the output is 20 now what's happening here now okay one more thing before we go there before we go there there is a function there is a inbuilt function or a method you call it method there is a inbuilt method to understand ki bhaiya ye particular jo data type hai a a is equal to 10 right a is equal to 10 now what is the data type of this particular a to understand the data type of a particular variable this a is known as variable i don't i didn't want to use this word variable till now but yes fine a is equal to variable abhi type a giving the variable name it is int okay now what's happening here ho kya raha hai matlab ho kya raha apan ne kahin na int likha kuch nahi likha kuch nahi bas seedha a is equal to 10 dal diya and it is saying and we just had did like we just posted like a is equal to 10 and it is automatically saying that okay fine uh, uh, it is a integer okay now what's happening this a is a variable name what is a a is variable name what is a a is variable name now 
वॉट इज़ अ वेरिएबल नेम यू मे हैव दिस क्वेश्चन सॉरी थोड़ा सा मैं ज्ञान दूंगा बट ठीक है वेरिएबल नेम इज लाइक अ ह्यूमन नेम सम ऑफ यू हैव नेम्स लाइक शिंजी अभिषेक लक्ष्मी सुब्रीम ओके मनु दीज आर योर पर्टिकुलर नेम यू आर अ ह्यूमन बींग मनु फ्राम लेट्स ऑफ ग्रेड्स यूट्यूब चैट इज अ पर्सन हु इज वॉचिंग अ पर्टिकुलर दिस सेशन समवेयर वो मनु को रेफरेंस करने के लिए वी आर नेमिंग इट लाइक दिस वी कैन नेम हिम लाइक अ ह्यूमन बींग ऑल्सो बट ह्यूमन बींग सब ह्यूमन बींग हो जाएंगे ओके ना लेट एस टेक सर्टन अदर एग्जाम्पल्स लाइक डॉग एग्जाम्पल्स लाइक कोडी कैप्सी ओके लियो एंड सर्टन नेम्स दीज आर डॉग नेम्स वी वी कैन कॉल इट अ पर्टिकुलर डॉग ऑल्सो एंड वी कैन कॉल इट विद देयर नेम ऑल्सो वेन यू टेक देयर नेम यू आर पॉइंटिंग आउट टू दैट पर्टिकुलर पर्सन राइट your particular human being the same way this name this name is getting associated with this data type ka data type are we clear data type and the value are we clear this particular name is getting associated with the data type and the value am i clear every one of you okay so am i clear with every one of you a is the variable name which is getting associated with the value and the data type okay sorted what is the variable name what is the variable name tell me that in the chat right now okay what is the variable name tell me that in the chat right now fadafat and uh, b is equal to 20 print b this this type a is okay now type uh, b is like uh, again integer fine theek hai now we will progress fast okay uh, g guru ji <laughs> good year fine i just hope you all uh, we all meet some day in real life and uh, do lot of projects and things fine now c is equal to i am taking a uh, 31.8 okay now c is a different type of variable uh, data type now c type t y p e type c c kya bol raha hai c is like float what is the type of this it's a floating it's a floating uh, uh, data type what's the data type float are we clear sorted now we will take d d is equal to i will write down something i will write down sarthak t h a k sarthak how are you okay fine this is d now t y p e type d now type d is equal to str what is it str now str means string what it is string to agar aapko kuch bhi sentence likhna hai to you can write down it as like this sorted if you want to write down a float it's just simply like write down it in a decimal value it will come as float if you want to write down some string it will come as like this str now we will go a b c d e e is equal to okay e is equal to now we will go here True. Now what is this? अभी आप बोलोगे यार ये true क्या होता है? Now you are seeing here the the what is the color of this? The color is like orange. The color here is light green. Okay. Fine. Light green. Light green. Fine. Now here the color is blue. Now blue color is reserved for inbuilt keywords. Okay. Inbuilt keywords. Now e is equal to true बोले तो now when you write down e then it will be like it will just print true now what is the uh, type of uh, e ठीक है it is boolean what is the type of uh, e it is boolean अब यहाँ पे छोटा सा now here we'll we'll experiment with it a little a little experimentation we'll do e is equal to this ना e b c d e f f f now here I will change it to small t As soon as I have done it, small t, it will like give an error, okay? Name error. True is not defined, okay? Because just the t ka value I have changed it to small t, okay? As soon as I go back again to like capital T, it will work. Are we clear? Sorted? Because small t is of no value, okay? And the color is like again white. उसका value ही नहीं है, okay? Now, as soon as I do capital T again, it will work. Now, g. G is equal to false. F A F A L S E false. Okay. Now again same. I convert it to small f. It will give a error. Okay. 
and if I again convert it to F uh, capital, it will work. So what it is, it's a reserved keyword. What is this entire thing? It's a reserved keyword. What is it? It's a reserved keyword. You use true or false as a Boolean value, as a Boolean value. And these Boolean values make a lot of sense. Okay, when you are writing huge complex uh, programs, these Boolean value makes a lot of difference. Okay, now Boolean value kaha use hota hai? If else, for example, wherever you have, should I do this? Should I do that? Whenever you want to make certain decision making thing, there you use Boolean, true or false. If this is true, I'll go here. If it is false, I'll go somewhere. Understood? Agar meko yahan pe 350 bachche dikh rahe mujhe chat mein, to I'm getting motivated. If I don't see 350, 400 people, I'm like, shit man, it's not, uh, it's not motivating. Yaar, kuch aur karna padega. <laughs> so that's how uh, the entire uh, thing is. Clear? Every one of you, are you with me so far? So what all things did we learn till now? Till now, kya kya seek liya hai? Integer int float floating floating values str that is string bool uh, b o o l that is uh, uh, boolean okay are we are we clear are we done so far so please tell me in the chat everyone are, are you with me yes or no so tell me in the chat i am looking forward to your answer okay what will be the type of this statement i am 17 i am 17 the uh, let's write down and see cd e, f g na h h is equal to i am 17 dot it's the type is type of h is what is the type of h tell me you you guess what's the type of h okay what will be the type of h it is string uh clear str done every one of you i hope you are very uh, much uh, clear till so far and uh, let's just go ahead from here kya seekhna hai okay so there is something uh, there are rules okay variable name and uh, variable name na there are rules for that for example names cannot start with a number write down in the chat Names cannot start with a number. Again, theory I know, so you have to write it down in the chat. Names cannot start with number. That's rule number one. Rule number two, be, two is there can be no spaces in the name. Use underscore instead. Use underscore instead of space. Write down in the chat. Fada fada, I'm not seeing your thing. Okay. Rule number one is names cannot start with a number. Rule number two is there, there, there should be no space in between. Have you seen any particular person's name being a number? It's like instead of calling uh, Vaishali, uh, uh, instead of calling Vaishali, I am calling her like uh, 9662978 something. It's not possible, right? So uh, we can't remember that way. That's where we have like Vaish uh, Vaishali Kesarwani. Okay, fine and uh, use underscore instead of space that's the second uh, thing fine and uh, can't use any of these symbols like special symbols special characters we can't use the special characters we can only use that is like underscore we can only use this underscore we can't use all of these if you use all of these it will give an error that's the third thing now rules for variable name there is there are certain best practices there are certain best practices uh, written by one of like top notch python developers in the world they write down certain best practices what are the best practices these are known as python enhancement proposals pep what is it known as pep okay when you go and check out these pep uh, uh, thing right you will find pep8 is the recent uh, one okay P Mm. I think this is five PP index. It is PP zero. Uh, documentation. Okay. What is PP eight? PP eight is nothing just but it's a style guide like how you should be uh, 
uh, how the code layout should look like and uh, uh, how the particular indentions how the function names how the variable names all these things are being written in a bible that bible is known as python enhancement proposal okay in a gita in a granth that is known as python enhancement proposal you can check out python enhancement proposal where they will talk about like you can use something like uh, camel casing okay you can uh, please avoid the words which have special meaning in python like reserved keywords like list str don't use this uh, uh, variable names because it will break the entire python itself so these are the pep code and who is the author of it godo van rossum the og guy behind it so he is the person at uh, uh, who has created this particular uh, thing okay along with few other team members what is pep uh, what is pep please write down what is pep python enhancement proposal clear done you guys need to go and check out uh, uh, this particular part now we are already done with integer float okay float string boolean now we will get into two things before we uh kind of take all your questions before i take all your questions i need to finish two things list and dictionaries are we sorted aaj ka yahi tak hai mere hisab se i mean we have to finish till uh, this only no 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 list is there tuple is there dictionary is there set is there okay fine all the things we need to do a uh, list tuple dictionary set kuch aur bach raha hai kya nahi i mean all the four things we need to finish we will finish it up fine clear okay now uh what is a list now what is a list let's try to understand uh, it from this particular definition ordered sequence of object what is it ordered sequence of object list is equal to ordered sequence of object let me take it as a text ek thing like list okay list is equal to ordered sequence of objects okay ordered sequence of objects now what do you mean, what do we mean by objects at the very first place okay what do we mean by objects objects are nothing just but you have data types aapke paas basic building block hai you all remember data types right integer string float boolean we all remember this yes or no please tell me in the chat when you combine when you combine all of this together like let's say you want to uh, you 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 want to combine a integer uh, a collection of integers that is known as an object okay a collection of like integer float string that is known as an object okay a collection of uh, uh, only string that is an object you you already know four things now using this basic building block you want to create more building blocks these building blocks are like complex in nature they are not as simple as like integer float and string they are little bit complex okay those things are known as objects are we clear are we clear kya apan sab clear hain what do we mean by object at the very first place now ordered sequence of objects this is the list ka definition so let's take a uh, list in real life how to declare a list you have to declare square brackets inside square brackets you can write down all your numbers let's say i want to write down uh, uh, 23 46 27 91 okay all these numbers i'm writing down okay i'm just writing down random numbers but these are all part of these are what these are collection of ordered sequence of objects each one of them is an object 23 is a integer object 46 is a uh, integer object 27 is a integer object 91 is a integer object 45 is a all these numbers are objects okay all these numbers are objects now when i do lt when i do lt you are getting the ordered collection of ordered sequence of objects ordered sequence of objects you can call it collection or you can call it sequence whatever is uh, your understanding of that particular word is in detail but yeah ordered collection or ordered sequence of objects clear sorted done 
everyone is with me so far okay uh, please tell me in the chat i am looking forward to your questions uh collect type of array okay vivek acharya is like okay sapna patel is like saying yes 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 fine theek hai ye ho gaya aapka list now it is not only that you can only do with integer let's try it try out mixing various building blocks okay uh, again we'll start with uh, 23 46 now i'm mixing a, a float value give me a float value in the chat give me a floating value in the chat decimal value give me a decimal number in the chat fatafat fat. give me a decimal number in the chat asap i am looking forward to your chat right now 33.5 fine theek hai 33.5 then i have got 12.2 okay sorry 12.2 and then i have got 25.9 uh, okay then i have got uh, again 6.6.6 ठीक है, so, ये सारे क्या हो गए डेसिमल वैल्यूज प्लस दीज आर ऑल डेसिमल वैल्यूज हियर दैट यू गैज हैव गिवन प्रोवाइडेड विद मी इन द चैट एंड दीज आर सर्टेन इंटीजर वैल्यूज आई वुड वांट टू आल्सो टेक अ बुलियन दैट इज ट्रू टी आर यू ट्रू ओके एंड वी विल ऑल्सो टेक वन नेम ओके अ नेम इज लाइक लेट से अभिषेक ओके अ नेम इज अभिषेक एल टी वेन एवर वी डू एल टी इट विल अगेन वर्क आउट सी now oh shit <laughs> i have taken both the name same so let me just uh, distinguish a little bit uh, lt1 or like lt2 will have this lt2 okay sorted done lt lt here lt2 here lt2 here done so the entire math uh, so the so, so the entire part here is Okay, like okay, we have got our uh, collection of. You, if you only want integers, you can have that. If you want integers plus uh, decimal values plus your boolean values plus your uh, string value, everything is possible in the uh, same thing. Done. Now I will take one more uh, list. List three. Okay. List three is a combination of let's say a number, uh, a whole number. Uh, a decimal number a string a string is like vivek okay then i am also taking uh, uh, another uh, thing that is true then i am taking one more last thing that is a list itself i am taking lt1 okay and i am taking lt2 both sorry lt1 is a kuch nahi lt hai wo so these also as a input now see lt1 is itself a object in itself right lt1 is a object in itself to wo lt lt2 bhi aa gaya got it so ye ke bade se list ke and in this in this list lt3 you have decimal as you have whole number decimal value boolean number you have got string you have got uh, a sub list and one more sub list everything stuffed into one list itself what is ordered collection of objects okay lt3 is a object lt2 is a object lt is a object lt is which object list object to so, aapne lt3 ke andar in lt3 you have taken lt uh, and lt2 both okay are you guys with me sorted every one of you with me nandini and nandini is asking for a question nandini hold on i will answer your question maybe we will write your program towards uh, uh, it's 8:30 so just be there i will 100% write a program to calculate some uh, from 1 to a given number it's very easy it's just 2 minutes job we will do it but wait okay uh, am i am i clear about this thing are you guys with me yes or no uh, are you guys with me now your question is like sir how can we retrieve how can we retrieve a single element okay maybe this 25.9 from uh, this entire thing how to retrieve how to retrieve uh, a number out of this thing fine abhi tak apne kiya kya hai nabil amin is asking one question like sir explain it once again it will be easy for everyone list is what what is list list is a ordered sequence of objects 
ऑब्जेक्ट्स का मतलब ये है इट कैन बी सिंपल ऑब्जेक्ट्स लाइक इंटीजर फ्लोट स्ट्रिंग बुलियन और अ कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑब्जेक्ट लाइक अ लिस्ट इट्स ओके सो लिस्ट कैन कंटेन ऑल दीज काइंड ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स सो वी फर्स्ट क्रिएटेड एन ऑब्जेक्ट अ लिस्ट ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स ओनली कंटेनिंग इंटीजर वैल्यूज दैट इज एल टी ओके देन वी ऑल्सो आउटपुटेड इट इट इज ओके इट इज वर्किंग फाइन देन वी हैव गॉन टू लाइक ओके फाइन वाई ओनली लिमिट आवर सेल्फ टू इंटीजर वी विल मिक्स एंड मैच ऑल द डेटा टाइप्स दैट वी नो सो फार सो वी हैव मिक्सड ऑल द डेटा टाइप्स एंड वी हैव क्रिएटेड वन मोर दैट इज दैट इज लाइक होल नंबर डेसीमल नंबर ओके बुलियन स्ट्रिंग वी हैव लाइक लिटरली टेकन ऑल ऑफ दिस एंड वी हैव मर्ज्ड एवरीथिंग टुगेदर एंड वी हैव क्रिएटेड दिस नाउ एल टी थ्री इज बिकॉज लिस्ट इट सेल्फ इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट सो वी सेड वी विल नॉट ओनली लिमिट आवर सेल्फ टू होल नंबर डेसीमल नंबर इन लाइक स्ट्रिंग एंड इन लाइक बुलियन वी विल ऑल्सो टेक अ लिस्ट as a sub object so we taken list also as an object when we are printing out lt3 it is giving us this particular output are you guys with me yes okay are we are we clear uh, sunil is saying yes sejal is saying yes okay yes you guys are right you are going in the right direction um, okay so i hope Manu, I will also take your question. We will work on that also. Don't worry. I hope uh, you guys are. Now the question is. Now the question is, how to retrieve data from a particular list? Now how to print this Vivek? How to retrieve this Vivek? So LT three. All these elements have an address. Okay, all these elements have an address. Address is what address is from where you can retrieve. Consider this entire thing as your society. All of you know what the society is? A uh, housing society. Each and every house in that housing society has got a got a address. I one of the housing societies that I know very well is like Gokul, B H M, Gokul Dam, uh, Gokul Dam Society. Okay. Let's go to images. Okay, this society every one of you have seen it, right? Previously, at least once. Gokul Dam Society. Now, each of them, each one of the house here, it may have one of the address one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen houses in front of us, and each each of the house will have a address. Considering this. as a part even your list work like this okay each of the element have a house address okay each of the element have a house address now 12 is a 12 is what 12 is having a house address that is zero so whenever you do lt zero you will get 12 as output now to get uh, this vivek what should be the address give me the address of vivek give me the address of vivek we make the address is 0 1 and it is 2 so when you write down 2 you will get this vivek as a address okay clear sorted everyone is with me fine so far okay now we have got lt uh, 3 if i have to uh, print this particular list this entire uh, i have, if i have to retrieve this entire uh, element then what's the address 0 1 2 3 4 5 now if i do 5 i will get this particular list from this particular list if i want to just get this 25.9 how can i retrieve 0 1 2 3 4 so it is like lt5 karne pe hi aayega lt5 ke andar wapas 4 karoge na to ye 25.9 aayega Are we clear? Are we clear? Every one of you, sort it. Who uh, mere saath ki nahi ho? Are you guys with me? Yes or no? So LT three, which was this by default, this entire thing. If you wanted to retrieve only this twenty five point nine, you can do something like this. I hope you guys are with me. It's not so rocket science. You can actually learn this and you can take it ahead. 
Now the next topic that we have here. Hey, uh, uh, Prasad or Anam, whosoever is watching me, am I overshooting your time? I mean, was it till only 8 p.m. or it is till 8.30? I don't know. So, uh, I forgot. So, can you tell me in the chat if it is still 8 or 8.30? I'm, I'm genuinely asking this question because I can see a lot many people are leaving uh, the entire classroom. So, I may, am, I, am I stretching too much or what? ठीक है कल से आठ बजे तक ही पढ़ेंगे आज एट थर्टी कर लेते हैं व्हाट डू यू थिंक फाइन नाउ डिक्शनरी फाइन डिक्शनरी डी आई सी टी ओके डिक्शनरी नाउ व्हाट इज अ डिक्शनरी डिक्शनरी वी ऑल हैव सीन डिक्शनरीज एग्जांपल्स इन आर लाइफ ओके डिक्शनरी इमेज I mean, this is one of my favorite, favorite things that I always talk about. Okay, you all know about dictionary. What is a dictionary in real life? Dictionary in real life is like you have a word, and you each and every word is associated with a meaning. So you have a word, and that word has got a meaning associated to it. So that particular word, that key, is containing a value. So that is known as a dictionary. Okay, exactly like how you can think of a real world dictionary. The same uh, translate into uh, it into a computing computing stuff stuff that is a virtual dictionary in Python. Okay, so now uh, uh, having said that, dictionary explanation is very simple. It's unordered key value pairs. It's unordered collection of key value pairs. Unordered collection of key value pair. That means. Each and every key has got a value. I'll tell you where this uh, comes in real life uh, stuff. First of all, we will try to uh, we will try to take an example. An example is I want to I want to write all the data related to a person in a Python programming uh, list. So let's write down. Uh, let's take a Vivek. ओके विवेक इज इक्वल टू लेट से विवेक का एज है 24 ओके या फिर 23 व्हाट एवर ना विवेक ईमेल आईडी इज विवेक एट जी डॉट कॉम लाइक जी मेल डॉट कॉम फाइन देन वी हैव गॉट विवेक का फोन नंबर सो विवेक का फोन नंबर इज समथिंग लाइक दिस ओके देन वी हैव गॉट विवेक वेयर इन विच प्लेस विवेक लिव सो लेट से देवास okay so these all data points that i have collected of vivek okay now if i want to retrieve email id of vivek what i need to do i need to do like vivek vivek in uh, square brackets it is one okay but if i do, if i if i by mistake if i misplace and if i write down this uh, thing from here to here okay if i if i change if i change the if i change the value if i change the uh, uh, element address from that position to this position will it still work kya it still kaam karega ye kaam nahi karega agree yaar nandini i need to make you for time out for some time because you are disturbing me so much in the chat and i timed you out for 10 minutes you can't text me for 10 minutes okay so that you don't disturb me fine now are we are we guys are you guys with me are you guys with me so maine kuch nahi kiya maine bas change kiya maine galti se vivek uh, the uh, email address should be on second uh, thing but i wrote it on the fourth part will it still make sense no right it will not make sense okay so i hope you guys are uh, clear here what i'm trying to say I am trying to say is that like a list can't uh, capture the data of a particular person properly. You need something more than a list. That's where you get to uh, play with dictionary. Now, dictionary is something. It's a unordered collection of unordered collection of uh, key value pair. 
sorted. Uh, sorted unordered collection of uh, key value pair. Now, what is this? हाँ मतलब ये three करोगे तो आएगा ठीक है आप ये विवेक three करोगे तो email id आएगा but I mean it's again a तुक्का business right it's a it's a totally guessing business uh, instead of like being sure about it that's where you get to play with a uh, data type uh, which can store a key and a value associated with it you don't have to guess which uh, which address number it may be in you exactly know where it is so having uh, said that thing so let's just uh, go ahead and code this dt here you are seeing it's not square brackets it is curly bra uh, curly brackets or curly braces it is known as curly braces in this the key is uh, let's say name and name is vivek okay then we have uh, that is age hey I'm, I'm just doing a small mistake here name name is equal to Vivek, and then age uh, is equal to not equal to colon. It's it's colon, colon twenty three. Then we have taken email, okay. Vivek at sorry at gmail dot com. What else is it? Location. Location is Devas. Fine, ठीक है, done, dt. Now, whenever I want to retrieve, I can basically do here name, and I just need to put this name in this semicolon, sorry, uh, in this quotes, single quotes, and it will show me Vivek. Are we clear? Are we clear? Yes or no? Right? Now this will never go wrong. I mean, you may you may shift Vivek from here. You may you may literally want to shift Vivek from here to uh, age from here to let's say here, okay? But this will not at all make any difference. आप D T age करो, you do this D T age. Fine, D T age. It will get, still give you twenty three. Okay, you shift this age from here to again. You shift it somewhere else. Let's say you shift it to the end. Okay, it will still give me the same output. It will not at all get disrupted because age is age. It is a key which is associated with the value. Wherever you may store it, it will still retrieve it. Are you clear? What is the entire purpose of dictionary here? Agree? Yes or no? Done. Okay. I hope uh, every one of you is with me uh, so far in terms of this thing. So let's just go and understand the other two uh, data types that you have to finish. That is set S E T S sets. Now, what is a set? Set is like ordered collection of unique objects. ये कहाँ use होता है? That I'll explain you uh, later in terms of it. But just अभी तक इतना सीखो. कि भाई सेट नाम का एक बहुत बड़ा चीज़ है इसको सीखना बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट है सेट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट यू नीड टू नो वेर एवर यू वॉन्ट यूनिक डेटा आउट ऑफ अ बिग चंक ओके एन एग्जाम्पल यू हैव गॉट हंड्रेड्स ऑफ ई मेल आई डीज ओके यू वॉन्ट टू जस्ट गेट यूनिक ई मेल आई डीज आउट ऑफ इट यू यूज समथिंग नोन एज सेट ओके सो लेट्स जस्ट गो एंड प्ले विथ इट फॉर अ वाइल एंड देन I'll take certain questions from you, and we will finish. Set is equal to. I will not teach you tuple today because I'm sensing that you guys are uh, uh, already requesting me, <laughs> uh, uh, requesting me ki kal 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 karke. Uh, okay, so I'll just go ahead and finish this topic, and then I will take it. Sai at itm dot edu. Let's say one email ID. then again one more time i'm writing the same email id sai at itm.edu and then i'm writing down sai at gmail.com okay then i'm writing down uh, sai at yahoo.com then again i'm trying to write down uh, sai at uh, itm.edu okay 
हाउ मेनी टाइम्स डिड आई राइट आई टी डी यू थ्री टाइम्स है ना थ्री टाइम्स मैंने एक ही चीज़ लिखा है सॉर्टेड बट वैन इट विल कम बैक टू मी ओके वैन इट विल कम बैक टू मी इट विल कम बैक टू मी विथ ओनली यूनिक ई मेल आई डी जी मेल आई टी एम एंड या हो अंडरस्टैंड सो इट विल डम्प ऑल द रिपीटेटिव डेटा एंड इट विल ओनली गिव मी द डेटा विच इज विच इज यूनिक इन नेचर एंड हियर इट विल चेंज अगेन द दिस डेटा टाइप इज यूज टू गेट ओनली द यूनिक वैल्यूज आउट ऑफ एंटायर डम्प इट इज़ यूज हैविली इन डेटा प्रोसेसिंग स्टफ वेन एवर यू वॉन्ट टू रिट्राइव ओनली द यूनिक यूनिक थिंग्स दैट्स वेर यू यूज सेट डेटा टाइप नाउ इन दिस थिंग यू विल सी देर इज नो की वैल्यू बट देर इज अ करली ब्रेसिस हियर है ना करली ब्रेसिस इज कॉमन बिटवीन दिस एंड डिक्शनरी बट द थिंग विच इज डिफरेंस इज हियर यू राइट डाउन थिंग्स लाइक लिस्ट बट हियर यू राइट डाउन थिंग थिंग्स लाइक की एंड वैल्यू इधर इज अ की देर इज अ वैल्यू देर इज अगेन अ की देर इज अगेन अ वैल्यू and here it is like simple you put braces and you write down things like a list are you guys with me yes understood tell me in the chat every one of you comma and square bracket uh are ye kya lag ho raha hai kya abhi ho gaya okay fine theek hai तो कैरी ऑन डन ठीक है नाउ द लास्ट 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 टॉपिक फॉर द डे बिकॉज समन एज आस्ट मी की टीच दैट ऑल्सो दैट इज टपल ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टेल मी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन म्यूटेबल एंड अनम्यूटेबल सो इम्यूटेबल सो नॉट अनम्यूट इम्यूटेबल म्यूटेबल एंड इम्यूटेबल फर्स्ट टेल मी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू वर्ड्स ओके इम्यूटेबल और म्यूटेबल ओके so टपल टपल ओके टी यू पी एल ई टपल टपल इज एन एंटायर कॉन्सेप्ट विच इज यूज फॉर फॉर सर्टन कॉन्स्टेंट डिक्लेरेशन वेन आई से कॉन्स्टेंट कॉन्स्टेंट पाई वैल्यू इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यू यू कॉन्ट चेंज द वैल्यू ऑफ अ पाई हाउ विच अवर प्रोग्राम इट मे बी पाई वैल्यू इज गोइंग टू रिमेन सेम ओके एंड लाइक वाइज uh certain token numbers like let's say uh you are using a windows software okay you, when you install it you will get a key na you will get a key of that uh, windows software licensing key that licensing key will never change the, the data which never changes okay mutable we can change immutable is unchangeable so whenever you are playing with a data which need not to be changed ever 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 that time you use something known as tuple what do you use you use something known as a tuple data type so let's just go code it it's very easy tp uh, here you use round brackets these are known as parentheses round brackets are known as parentheses okay now in this you will uh, uh, write down let's say let's upgrade okay and uh, you again write down something like ai you write down something like arvr okay so these are the things which will not change <laughs> like show sure, flex kar raha hu let's upgrade kabhi change nahi hoga okay but yeah it will it will take shapes forms and all it will never change it is going to remain free forever as we know and uh, as i am the founder and the ceo here in this company let's upgrade for a 99.99% will remain free of cost that is our commitment because we are building a community we are not building an ed tech company which is looking forward to earn crores of rupees from that our business models are different we we try to just build community using let's upgrade and that's going to be uh, free of cost ai is going to be the future and it's not going to change ar vr is not going to like thoda sa digress ho gaya main but theek hai so uh you can only get the values which are there in this if you want to let's say tp0 डॉट चलो तुमको भी डॉट ऑपरेटर आज पता नहीं है क्या होता है tp डॉट ओके यू कैन ओनली गेट टू थिंग्स यू कैन गेट काउंट ऑफ इट एंड यू कैन गेट इंडेक्स ऑफ इट बट यू कॉन्ट चेंज एनी थिंग ओके यू कॉन्ट चेंज एनी थिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई डू वॉट इज द थिंग ऑफ ए आई okay it will give you the index of ai is 1 but can you change anything on that index number 1 no you can't okay it is un- unchangeable 
it's immutable okay so it's exactly like a list but list you can change values even after it is declared but in this in tuple you can't change the value chalo abhi tak bahut seekh liya hai we have learned a lot so far now uh, summarizing whatever we have learned so far like let me just share this entire thing as notes to every one of you anyone with the link can actually see this okay um okay in here i'm just pasting it and the, in the description also you have and in this chal so now uh, the entire summary whatever we have learned so far in the programming last one hour i hope uh I hope you guys have followed along with me and are able to understand. Exhaust हो गया क्या I mean, are you guys exhausted? Are you feeling like exhausted? So please tell me in the chat. Okay. So I hope you have learned and you have enjoyed learning this. And at certain places, I tried to uh, give you certain references which are very close to your generation and your heart, and uh, trying to be relevant as much as possible. so uh, we started with the very first thing that was like the history behind python that's gvr 1991 2006 google started backing it up what are the five major uh, reasons or advantages of python developers can learn it very quickly syntax is easier large number of open source libraries major technology giants are using it typically involves less amount of code these are the five then we learned three code environments what are the three code environments notebook environment text editor environment and ide integrated development environment notebook environment are good for learning purposes where you can write the input where you can see the where you can run it where you can see the output in one place uh, text editors are the files where it sector it, it's like file agnostic you can write down any code in that text editor and you can customize it for, for a, based on a plugin and all that's the part of like text editor then the la, then the third thing that we learned is uh it's totally based upon uh, what is uh, ide ides are very uh, much specific in nature they don't uh, uh, change uh, based on programming language to programming language they are very specific they are built for a programming language okay and that's an ide pycharm is one of the ide for spider is another ide for python then the then the next thing that we started was like let's writing code okay then we first wrote hello world we finished hello world post hello world then we understood in programming there are two segments one segment is like data storing capacity the other segment is like playing with that data and making sense of it end of the day okay that is like augmenting that data so these are the two things that are there in programming so we first started today with data storing part and then tomorrow we will once done with data storing and uh, manipulation part then we will start with data augmenting and like you putting logics to it and making sense of it okay writing code there now a like this is a integer float okay string boolean these are the four building data types and then we started uh, seeing complex data types like objects like list uh, dictionary tuple set these are the four that we have today carry forward it tomorrow we will uh, learn we will continue list dictionary for a large extent and uh, we will see certain uh, uh, core methodologies which are there in list and object uh, list list as an object and dictionary is an object and post that we will get into other interesting stuff tomorrow's our agenda will be control flows iterating through data structures a uh, functions and function uh, arguments scope okay so we have got a lots to cover uh, and uh, we will see that tomorrow in day 2 okay done i hope every one of you is with me and uh, learning a lot of these things if i have went anywhere a little bit faster please let me know in the comments and i will check it out uh we, okay so I'll let me see now few questions will it be useful for data engineering please respond 100% it will be useful boss this is data engineering in 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 short and can you show the notes it is not opening hey i already showed you the notes it's there here okay 
this this is the notes ka file okay uh, the actual file is this and here you need to click on notes and in this you will see all the notes that we are providing to you then what is the next question that we have mm. happy new year happy new year everyone okay uh, thank you sir for all the efforts which help us to learn and no i hope you guys are like literally learning this uh, okay i hope you guys are like literally li liking this entire session and uh, uh, st be around stick around you will learn a lot uh, that's my commitment okay uh, this is the last time i'm teaching a uh, python online post this i will never be back uh, on to this until unless my team is like say karna hi padega karke theek hai tab tak main nahi aane wala but this is the last time i'm doing it um, i have a reason why i'm doing it the reason is uh, uh, very simple uh, this the reason is like one last time for a recording uh, purposes that we will teach on live so if your friends and everyone anyone of your uh, family members want to learn python uh, like ask them to join this uh, even if they missed any day it's okay they will start learning along with me fine take it chalo thank you everyone and uh, switching back to this entire thing fine chalo meet you all tomorrow again at 6:30 and tomorrow it will be from my office so you will have a better quality uh you will see a better quality there as compared to what you guys were visualizing today thank you bye bye take care have a nice day and now we guys can and tomorrow we will take care of all the bugs that were like 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 literally troubling you that will not come tomorrow okay fine bye bye take care have a nice day uh 100% you will be getting a certificate so don't worry Okay bye bye so let's end the stream